let's explore SharePoint tasks and timelines. Here we have just some sample tasks that we have on a timeline as well. Out of the box, you'll notice phases or tasks that are spanning a certain period of time show up as a bar like this. To get this callout effect, all you have to do is choose the bar and then display as callout. So just choose the visual preference that best suits you. Also, down in the task list, you'll notice we just have a plain list of tasks. For example, if I added a new task, it would just show up like the rest of these. I could also use edit this list to add them, much like you would in Excel. To rearrange these, what we can do is select multiple tasks, such as these first three, go up to our tasks menu, and move down to move multiple tasks at one time. Another thing is we can use tasks and subtasks. For example, if phase one had a subtask, I could use the menu and create a subtask. Let's call this phase one subtask. If I stop editing the list, you can see how this allows us to collapse subtasks into their main task for a cleaner view or expand to show details. We can also make existing tasks subtasks by selecting those and in indenting or outdenting. Indenting would make a subtask, while outdenting would make a subtask a main task again. Let's do all four of these at once by clicking and dragging and then using indent. We can also do a second level, so for example if this test task that we just created is a subtask of press releases, we'll indent one more time, and you'll notice how that allows us this extra level to collapse or expand as we need. Let's stop editing there, and then let's look at our timeline for a moment. We can see some tasks up here, but SharePoint won't automatically add every task to the timeline. So, for example, if we wanted to add legal review, which is currently missing, we would just use the menu and add to timeline. You can see how that might clutter up the view, so what we can do is select that and remove from timeline, and choose the tasks that are most important to the current phase of the project to show.